In unit second, we have studied first one act play, a dollar by David Pinsky. Now we are going to learn that one act play, The Stronger Woman, written by John August Strindberg. So, who is John August Strindberg? He is author of this one act play. So, before going to start this one act play, definitely it is necessary for us to know something about uh, this author, August Timber, so that we can understand the background of this particular one act play and we can even easily understand what is the intention behind writing this uh, one act play. So, after knowing the uh, mindset of our author, definitely uh, that is helpful for us to know something more about that, that uh, one act play written by this John August Strindberg. So, this particular uh, author uh, born on 22nd January 1849 and died on 14th May 1912, was a Swedish playwright, novelist, poet, essayist, painter. He is a prolific writer who often drew directly on his personal experience. Why I am telling this? Because as I have told you, it is important for us to know about author also because Strindberg has something in his personal experiences that reflected in his works also. So, Strindberg's career spanned four decades, during which time he wrote over 60 plays and more than 30 works of fiction. So, it's very that big contribution of this author in English literature, autobiography, history, cultural analysis and politics. So, he is a bold experimenter in that way and uh, throughout his career, he has explored a wide range of dramatic methods and purposes for uh, tragedy, monodrama, history and uh, then some plays he wrote, history plays to his anticipations of expressionist and uh, surrealist uh, dramatists. So in this way he has that technique he used and uh, from his earliest work Strindberg developed innovative forms of dramatic action language and visual composition. He is considered as the father of modern Swedish literature. It's very important. He is considered as a father of modern Swedish literature. And his the Red Room has frequently been described as the first modern Swedish novel, which is the first modern Swedish novel, The Red Room, which is published in 1879 by August so, after knowing this uh, author, now let us move towards the text we are going to read or that one act play we are going to, to read by this John August Strindberg. So, see in this uh, one act play we have only two characters. So, it's very simple to read and uh, after knowing about these two characters we can understand that these two characters are uh, that simple characters major characters one more thing is that these two characters are women characters so in title you have the stronger woman so after knowing these two women characters we need to define which woman is stronger but when you uh, do some efforts to find out that stronger among uh, between these two women it is somewhat difficult for the reader to uh, get that output or outcome or select uh, from these two which is the stronger one because in uh, that place of uh, their own these two are very uh, significant one and uh, are stronger one so one is beloved and one is wife so these two are playing their roles very that sincerely and in that way these two are stronger in their own place. 
so again uh, it is uh, that personal perspective or view of a reader uh, who um, uh, to whom to give uh, the title of the stronger woman in this play so uh, there are only two characters as i have told you mrs x and miss y so why these two uh, have given such type of names because here that name is not important but whatever that uh, means the character does is important and especially this particular when i play that deals with the uh, uh, women psychology and uh, how women feel uh, insecure when they are in the role of wife and uh, particularly here mrs yux is uh, feeling like uh, she is uh, been uh, exploited by um, her husband and uh, she has been deceived by um, her husband and uh, in some um, way it is uh, true and how she deals with whole affair or all that situation it is very important for us miss y is that second character in the story or this one act play you find that miss y doesn't speak a single line but all her facial expressions her body language throughout this one act play is very important to be known after knowing miss y Uh, we uh, feel that miss y is a somewhat dominant character and she creates her influence impression uh, on the life of mrs x and uh, her husband so why uh, she has such type of uh, that uh, glamorous personality or persona we can uh, read and we can understand in detail so this scene uh, this one act play has only one scene actually that held in one uh, coffee shop and uh, that is specially the cafe of ladies and uh, in that way we can find that in that particular period uh, they were having ladies were having their own cafes and uh, uh, they were enjoying all that life and uh, how they are means to live that life without a restriction so this is how that uh, ladies cafe the concept a, itself suggests that uh, that these women they were enjoying their freedom and uh, they were in that way uh, occupying very important uh, and significant place in the society and they are really stronger one so uh, see we'll read this Uh, that text so that uh, we can understand what actually happens in this one act play so uh, uh, now you can easily tell that this is the one act play which has only one scene there are only two characters which are women characters in that mrs x is somebody's wife we'll see who is that fellow and uh, that miss y is beloved of the same fellow so these two characters are there and one more thing is that uh, it has only one scene that is that happens or that whole story happens in one ladies cafe so miss y remains silent throughout one act play will not find a single line uh, that is spoken by miss y just some gestures are there body language is there facial expressions are there which are uh, having that meaning so uh, we can understand what type of character this miss y is and uh, though she doesn't speak a single word uh, she occupies a very prominent place in the development of the story and theme of this one act play so um, you need to know all these facts while uh, going thoroughly uh, through this, uh, this text actually so um, mrs x is sitting Uh, with miss y in one ladies cafe there are two small tables and a red plush sofa is also there and some chairs are also arranged in that cafe see you can see this uh, online also this uh, that uh, one play is there you can find enacted on stage on this uh, particular story or this uh, one act play and after seeing that one act play you can easily understand what actually happens between these two characters 
but before that we will look into this uh, that text itself so that we can easily you can easily understand this when I play by John Steinberg so uh, now it is clear to you that in that cafe what type of sitting arrangement is there and uh, these two characters were sitting um, there in that cafe two small tables are there kept Mrs. X enters in winter dress in a hat and cloak with a light Japanese basket over her arm. Miss Y sits in front of an unfinished bottle of beer and reads an illustrated paper which she subsequently exchanges for another. So this is how two characters, Mrs. X, what she carries? She carries some luggage in her hand that basket is there, Japanese basket is there over her hand. Um, so Miss Y is uh, there already in that cafe and uh, that meeting has been arranged by uh, that Miss uh, Mrs. X with this Miss Y and now these two, uh, actually these two are former friends but uh, anyhow that situation that is created in their life. So what happens uh, in their lives, let us read. So Miss Y sits in front of an unfinished bottle of beer. So it's very freedom of that Miss Y being single, nobody is there um, uh, that to be bothered or uh, that uh, to disturb her life or to dominate her, to harass her, something like that. She is an individual, very free and uh, due to that she can enjoy all that life of freedom. And she reads an illustrated paper. She has that newspaper. So very and that means uh, the life of uh, that freedom is there of this Miss Y. She has uh, full of time to uh, read newspaper and uh, to have that um, that um, actually knowledge of, of that and uh, how she can grow with that. We will see. Mrs. X says, how are you my dear Millie? You look awfully lonely at this gay time of year, sitting here all by yourself like a poor bachelor girl. See, actually that is Christmas Eve, these two were meeting. And as you know, uh, uh, on that eve, especially all those families or family members, they celebrate and they give, share gifts to each other. And in that way, they um, spare that very happy time with each other. But in this particular uh, or uh, that uh, that day of Christmas, this Miss Y was lonely because nobody was with her being a bachelor. And uh, especially this Mrs. X wants to tease her on her situation that you are the lonely fellow and you are poor bachelor girl in this happy time. Nobody is there with you. You are sitting lonely. So in this way, Mrs. X teases uh, Miss Y, see how that Miss Y reacts to this uh, comment of Mrs. Yux. Miss Y, in bracket you have, what it, what is here written, looks up from her paper, nods and continues her reading. That she neglected all that uh, comment made by Mrs. Yux. So in this way, you can see she is careless about all such type of critical uh, that comments. Um, made by Mrs. X and even she doesn't give importance to Mrs. X's opinion according to her she is not worthy even to be considered so uh, she neglected totally in this way you can find that Miss Y is confident she has an attitude she spares her time for her individual development she is the persona she can take decision of her own she is enjoying her life so all these are the positive sides of her life but but what is that very opposite to that that is she is lonely she is bachelor she doesn't have family she is i mean actually that uh, not happy in uh, even on that christmas day or you so such is the condition of Miss Y and uh, we'll explore uh, something more about this Mrs. X also. So let us continue. Here see Mrs. X says it makes me really quite sorry to look at uh, you. 
uh, all alone at a cafe when uh, the rest of us are having such a good time so time of it it reminds me of how i felt when i saw a wedding party once in a paris restaurant and the bride sat and read a comic paper while the bride group played billiards with the witnesses if they begin like this i said to myself how will they go on and how will they end so again um, that she wanted to create humor on her that situation mrs x wants to uh, tease her and she says that it's very unhappy for me or sorry for me to see you in this lonely situation you are sitting alone in this cafe Uh, and all that world uh, other people in the society are making fun on that christmas eve and it reminds me um, once it one particular moment in one wedding party she recalled all that memory which happened um, in front of her in a paris restaurant and there she saw that when bride was there sitting Uh, reading that comic paper and the bridegroom was playing billiard with other people witnesses so in that way when the time is there to celebrate the marriage party these two husband and wife they were not together and that was very funny scene and according to mrs sex what will happen with these two people after getting married so in this way she wanted to highlight that lonely situation of uh, uh, this miss um yet yeah, miss wise and uh, in that way she uh, very directly uh, that comments harsh comments are made by her on miss why so fancy he was playing billiards on the night of his wedding and she was reading an illustrated paper oh well but you are not quite in the same box so here see um, again she wants to carry on her comment so she uh, says like that all those uh, people she saw at wedding party were unnaturally not giving time to each other so that husband and wife they were not giving time to each other or they were not even talking to each other on that very important occasion in the life that is of marriage so in this way uh mrs yux gives importance to marriage you can see she gives importance to marital relationships she gives importance to uh that uh, actually that life partners attention uh, should be there so something like this that very uh, that intention of mrs yux is to uh, make this miss why realize that she is lonely and alone and bachelor and she doesn't have any companion or life partner with her to enjoy the situations so this is how that we can see how this um, miss says uh, yux teases this miss why so here see and at the time that waitress enters puts a cup of chocolate in front of mrs x and exit so what is the name of miss y that is milly 